So we're going to describe the Crete soil profile in terms of the layers of soil present, and maybe we'll be able to identify the horizons present within the Crete soil profile. And we're going to look for differences in color and consistency that indicate where those boundaries might be. Let's move into the soil core. And this is a soil monolith, an intact soil face preserved on a wooden board. We can see up here near the top that normally we would expect a lot of roots and organic materials and maybe a crumbly granular structure. Not the case in this Crete soil. This is a soil from an agricultural field and the topsoil has been cultivated and that shows up in the aggregates being fairly well pulverized. And so we have almost a massive structure here at the top. And that goes down to right around 15, 14 centimeters, which would be a typical plow or disc depth, uh, six inches. Now below that, we can see that there is soil structure and the aggregates uh, look quite fine and very likely our, our granular. And looks like there's a boundary of consistency right at around 20 to 22 centimeters. So that's typical for a topsoil depth of agricultural soil. Furrow slice around eight inches. Uh, we, so let's call this our AP layer down to zero to 15 centimeters. And then our second A layer from 15 to right here at 22 centimeters. I'm going to suggest that the subsoil begins right here. And we've got a little bit of evidence of shrinking uh, due to shrink soil type clays as this dried out. You can see the large cracks. And the aggregates in here are somewhat cuboidal and blocky. So this would be typical of the subsoil, the upper level of the B. Let's call a B1 from, oh, let's see, we had it uh, 22 to 22. Looks like a layer here to about 36 in terms of color. And then consistency also changes a little bit. We have a lighter color of subsoil here from 36 to about 55. And the organic matter really fades out at that point. We've still got a chunky, blocky structure here. 55 down to, we see a definite difference in consistency here at 75 in 75, 77. And so we have much more massive, larger aggregates and continuing with the lighter gray color, moving downward from 75 right on down to 90. I would give that the third B horizon. So our overall B layer, subsoil layers begin up at 22 or three. First B layer down to 35, second B layer to 50, third B layer 75, and then the fourth B or maybe a BC layer from 75 to right around 90. Below that, the rest of the core appears to be mainly unweathered material. There is some white calcium carbonate precipitates in the lower regions of this, that's a good indicator that we're at near the bottom of the B horizon. And so that's our Crete soil profile.